up, guys? Jason Richardson here again. Uh, in this lesson, we're going to take a kind of an unorthodox approach to trying to write guitar parts that don't even start with a, with a guitar. In this composition, I, the way I wrote it was I watched, uh, I watched Hans Zimmer's master class, and then about like three videos in out of the 31, I immediately was just like tinkering on my piano and had to stop watching and write this song. So there is this, this first melody line in there that I, that I programmed out on like a glockenspiel or something like that, um, which is just this. It's very basic, just. So that's just the basic melody that I programmed on this one layer of programming, just like one little minute small layer and everything that's going on. So I took that, that's like the forefront kind of the melody that's going on, and underneath that there's all these strings, piano and stuff like that, like carrying the actual chord progression out underneath of that, underneath of that melody line. And so I wanted to figure out a way to implement that as well and have the chord voicings behind it as well on a guitar. But None of these would have ever came to fruition if I hadn't even just, if I hadn't have been programming and doing everything on my computer. So after that, or after I had all that programmed, it took me a while, a little bit to tinker around with different chords and stuff like that, but this is what it ended up coming out like after I figured, every, figured the whole thing out. <laughs> Okay, so here's the here's the very first shape of this of this chord progression, and you kind of want to do like a hammer on with from with your first finger on the, on the high string to your with your pinky on the seventh fret. So it's like that's the that's the very first chord with that. Then it's got a little bit of a tricksy little pull off thing right there with your pinky uh, ring into your first finger. And then this next chord, it has also like a little bit of a subtle like slide nuance in there. Into the into this chord. So that whole little first chunk is just It looks like I kind of maybe like lift off a little bit on that second chord to do the slide, the transition into the next chord. And then, actually, another thing too to note too about this is I'm switching from all fingers, and then I kind of just keep my pick right here. And then after this chord, after I go down with my thumb, I switch back to the pick, and grab the low string and the high string at the same time, and then hybrid pick these, this next little chunk right here. So, that's the first little chunk, and then I kind of, I wanted to start dabbling some more with uh, harmonics and stuff like this, so I figured out this one little, I guess a harmonic sweep, in a way, like... But I grab that with my, I don't want to flick you off, but I grab that with my middle finger on this, uh, on this next little chunk. Okay, is what that, that is, so. You kind of want to let everything ring together, so it creates what you're hearing right now, this little chord chunk right here. And then after that, it's kind of, because since I wrote, part of this on the piano, I kind of had to figure out some un unorthodox fingerings to get all the notes to ring together, just because the anatomy of the instrument versus a piano, just they don't really like, they don't really mesh well together when it comes to playing chords. So this next part is just like scalar tone cluster kind of thing. And then we 
we hybrid pick again. So that way it kind of gets that like piano-esque kind of feel. This next example is a unreleased idea. I haven't found a way to cram it into a song yet, but I'm definitely going to because I'm really stoked on it. And it's, again, another, another kind of just uh, cool chord vibe where there's a, definitely a melody you can hear over top, but you're also carrying out the chord progression underneath as well with the, the uh, hybrid and finger picking. I actually think this, this lick is pretty much just straight fingers. Um, but anyway, here you go. Okay, so with this exercise, it's starting out with a, uh, a slight variation of like a minor seven kind of vibe. And you pick through and ham so picks or you finger through and there's a little bit of a hammer on right there. And then that's the that's the second shape. These like subtle little slides and nuances are what's really, really important about this and gives it the vibe that it has. And then that's another major set or uh, minor seven uh, variation. You got to make sure you get all three of those in there and that little, that little quick slide right there. little chunk and then we have this uh, this little suspended shape right here and then you slide up with your first finger and make sure that this note is still ringing behind Even though this note sounds awful within within this uh, within the key of this, it still it happens so quick. You're just sliding from where you are down into that. So and then we end on this add nine. 